Monsieur mm. Kennedy. Would you please tell the folks at home about a certain fellow went by the name Lamont Dozier. He just uh, sadly passed away. Yeah, I heard that on the news yesterday, but uh, Holland Dozier and Holland, the office was right behind me on Cadillac Square. And uh, they was in the store all through the day. But before that, uh, he came down there, started his own label with Invictus Records. He was a writer for Motown. Uh, he did the thing for Martha Reeves, I believe, uh, Four Tops. Tim, he did everybody. They was doing everybody writing, Mo, the biggest writer at the time. And uh, then uh, they started giving different group certain r- writers, like Norman Whitfield and Barry Strong, they started writing for The Temptation. But anyway, they was in the store all through the day. The, the, everybody that worked for the company, I guess, would come in the store and hang out lunchtime because the office was behind me on Monroe. Would you, would you say that you got to know personally as a friend, uh, Mr. Lamont Dozier? Yes, we, uh, we're friends, uh, we're business associated, you know, we consider us a friend. Uh, they always, like I said, they come in the store and see what, pick up lists and see, and get, maybe drop off something for me, uh, do something. We always had the communication that we communicated together. And uh, he, he was a songwriter. Do you remember any any of the songs during the time that he was writing it? The thing by the Four Tops and early the early tunes by the Supremes, and then uh, I think um, well, you know, Smokey did. He started writing. At first, he wasn't writing it much. I don't think. You know, he was writing, but he was with the Miracles. And uh, they had special songwriter. He, you know, co co write songs with other people. Welcome to Detroit. <laughs> Horns blaring in the background. Hello, this is Ryan Ellis, and I'm joined at present, gladly to be joined with the legendary Lee Kennedy. How you doing today, sir? Hi, Ryan. How you doing? Beautiful. Beautiful, just like the day today. It's got to be in the mid 60s, and it's going to reach the mid 80s by uh, by the time the sun's at its peak. Yeah, it's hot. It'd be nice, nice right now here. <laughs> yeah, it's sweltering already a little bit. Okay, I have to admit, maybe an ozone action awareness, whatever day today. Who knows? Uh, let me think. Uh, Holland Dozier, Holland. We we, we just talked about. Lamont Dozier. Do you, do you have any of the Holland brothers, uh, any memories of those two gents? Well, at, at the early when they started out, Motown first started out, I knew they was always around at the time. And the bigger they got, the more business, busier they were. I didn't see them as much, you know. But they opened up Invictus Records right behind me on Monroe. They was on Cadillac Square. And uh, I think uh, they parted from Motown, I believe, and they came out with their own label and everything. Invictus, the company called Invictus had Frida Payne, uh, Chairman of the Board. Um, uh, and we had a big promotion in the store with Frida Payne, they did, and Frida Payne came down there and uh, stayed for a long time. Invictus Records was started uh, right behind you. They was behind me on Monroe. They was on Cadillac Square, I said before. The, the Holland brothers, we, we just talked about a gentleman went by the name Lamont Dozier. Unfortunately, Lamont, 81 years young, he passed away and Lee just talked about him. And it was Holland, Dozier, Holland. Uh, these three gentlemen at, at the core of writing some of Motown, some of Detroit's most timeless classics. They had the records. They was they were writers, songwriters, and when they started out, everybody at Motown, we 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 uh, get together, part of different situations that they was putting on because they was writing in Motown, they was working in Motown. Then later on, they I think Barry they had a dispute or whatever, and they formed their own group. I think they got I don't know what happened to it. Okay, but they farm Invictus Records. They had Frida Payne, Chum and the Board, uh, those hits 
then I don't remember right offhand the other big hits they had there. But they had their own label, Invictus Records, like yeah. Motown. Yeah. Now we got Invictus Records. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, Lee and I, whether you're watching in the current year or in any future year, if you were part of Motown or if you know anyone part of Motown or who knew Lee Kennedy, please reach out to me. I would love to get in touch with you. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.